Hello all. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to read and write Excel file at runtime during test for web application testing in Catalan Studio. We have learned about reading the Excel file in Catalan Studio for web application testing using various way that is by data driven testing. We learned how to read the internal file, how to add the external Excel or CSV file into project and read the data from that file, use that data in our test cases. We have also learned about the data binding, how to do the data binding and read the data from Excel. Take the data from Excel to the variables and then to read those variables. So for these data driven testing, please go through my earlier tutorials about data driven testing. I have shared the link in the description below. Now we will learn about how to write data in the Excel file at the runtime during the test while the web application testing in Catalan Studio. To learn about writing data into Excel file at the runtime of the test, we will use some classes. We are going to use some classes. These classes are file input stream. It is an input stream for reading data from file. Next class that we are going to use is XSSF workbook, XSSF sheet, XSSF row and XSSF cell. You have to keep in mind that the extension of the Excel sheet that or Excel file that we are going to use should be .xlsx as we are using XSSF. If you are using XLS file format then we have to use HSSF instead of XSSF. So for now we are using XSSF. We have to take the Excel file with the extension or we have to create the Excel file with the extension XLSX. The key to write or read the Excel file in any programming language, you have to keep in mind to read or write it in a specific format to access the file in a specific format and that format is first we have to access the workbook. Then we access sheet from that workbook, the specific sheet of that workbook. Then we access the row and then the cell or the column. So let's learn how to do that. In this tutorial of learning how to write the Excel file, I have divided the tutorial in two parts. One part will cover the writing the Excel file locally using the custom keyword that we will create and for one test case. And in the next tutorial, we will learn how to use this Excel writing feature and capture the test case name and its status for execution of the test suit. To learn about writing the status of execution of test case in the Excel file after execution is finished for the test case, I have taken the test case of Cura Health login, wherein I have added the username and password with the help of the data file. This is the test details file. I will open this file. This file contains the username and password and the column status. So I have taken the username and password by parameterizing and taking the data from test details file. In the script mode, it will look like this. This is the test details dot xlsx file, which I have created username, password and status. And I have added three rows to it. We will see why these three rows are there. For now, we are going to write status for one row only for one test case. This file I have added in our test data folder of our project and accessed in the data files. Now let's create a keyword to 
write the data in the excel file to create the keyword for writing the excel i will go to com.utils package and in this package i will create a new keyword with the name test write excel click ok in this class we are going to use a keyword so we will use the annotation at the rate keyword we will write a method with public void and the method name i will give the method name as demo write excel i'm going to pass the string str test which will contain the status of the test in this keyword or in this method i am going to take the path of the project by using the run configuration dot get project dir method in this path variable we are taking the project directory path then i am going to use the file input stream class new file input stream and in this file input stream i am going to pass the path variable wherein i have got the path of the project directory and i am going to concatenate the further path that is test data and this is the test data folder and the file name test details dot xlsx this way we have given the path now next is to use the workbook class so we will use xssf workbook and in this workbook we are passing our complete path of the file test details dot xls now we are going to access the sheet from this workbook so we will use the class xssf sheet and i am going to get the sheet from that workbook so i will use workbook which i have used over here workbook variable dot get sheet and i am going to provide the sheet name we will open the test data file again this is our test details dot xls file and this is the sheet name sheet 1 is the sheet name i will change this to suppose user details and here i will use user details as the sheet name which we have given there then we are going to access the row we will use xsf row and i am going to access the row using the sheet sheet dot get row and here i am going to pass the row number as first row i want to access the first row while accessing the excel sheet or while working on the excel sheet it considers that the first row or first column or first cell is the zeroth index this first row or column is the zeroth index second row is the first index third row is second index and fourth row is third index similar way first column is zeroth index second column is first index third column is second index so i have given over here as row to access the first row first row means it will access this row and it will work on this row because index is 1 and then i will initialize one variable call num to get the number of columns so row dot get last cell number which will give us the number of columns in that row once we save this we get these errors so you know now how to remove these errors control shift and o
I am going to remove these errors by using Ctrl Shift O. And now the errors are gone. Now what are we going to do next? We will print this for ourselves. We will print few of the things like the number of columns which we get from call num variable. Then we are going to print the str test string what we get in that string. So this is how we are going to print it. Next what we will do is we will create a cell. So I will write xssf cell is equal to null. And I will check that if cell is equal equal null then cell is equal to row dot create cell and I will give the column index column index will be column num the last cell number last column number then I will update the cell value by using the cell dot set cell value and I will pass str test to it to set the value of the cell so the str test will get entered whatever there in str test will get entered in the cell after this i am going to use file output stream and in this file output stream i am again going to pass the path the same path i will copy this and the same will go here in the file output stream then I will write the workbook with the output stream and then I will close it save this in case of error control shift O which will import the required libraries for us and now we will go through our code again to see what it does exactly we have created a keyword with the name demo write excel and we have passed the string str test to this keyword we have created one variable path and in this path variable we have assigned the path of the project directory after that we have created the instance of file input stream class and then we have assigned the path plus the test details dot xls file path and then we have created the workbook instance then the sheet instance having the name user details and then we have created a row and in this row instance we have accessed the first row from our test details file then we have created one variable call num and we have assigned number of columns value to it by taking the number of columns using this row dot get last sale num method and we have checked whether we have got the correct number of columns and correct string from str test then we have checked the cell whether it is null or no if the cell is null then we have created a new cell and we have set the cell value to str test whatever there inside the str test variable will get assigned in that cell then i have created the instance of file input stream class and assigned the same path and the file name to it and then i have written the workbook and closed it now we are going to use this keyword in our test case so i will open the test case cura help login and in this test case after logging in after completion of our test case execution i will call this keyword and i will pass the str test to it so to call the keyword we will write custom keywords dot com dot utilities and in that i will call the test write excel keyword and in that I will pass a value that is passed after execution the value passed will be passed to the keyword and it will be returned in the 
excel file so i will save this so let's execute our test case Our test is passed and let's check what is written in the console for our values. Total number of columns 2 and value in the STR test is passed. So let's go and check our test details data file. And in our data file status is showing as passed. So what we have seen is total number of columns 2. The value in the STR test is passed. So it is written in our testdetails.xlsx file. This was about writing XLS file. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to write the test case ID and the status in the Excel file for all the test cases that we execute in the test suit in particular test suit stay tuned and keep learning if you are new to this channel and would like to learn catalon studio from beginning to advance please click subscribe and bell icon below this video please do not forget to like and share thank you